We're back now with our series, One Nation Overdosed, about this country's opioid epidemic. Tonight, we look at the financial connections between opioid manufacturers and advocacy groups that deal with chronic pain and other opioid-related issues. Because these groups are nonprofits, there's no legal obligation to publicly disclose who contributes to them. And some say that's a problem. Here's NBC's Katie Beck. A new investigation led by Senator Claire McCaskill exposing the financial ties between opioid manufacturers and advocacy groups. I believe that some of these groups were fronting for the opioid industry, and that's what we found. The congressional review of donations from a handful of opioid manufacturers, names such as Purdue and Insys, found nearly $9 million in varying amounts funneled to 14 advocacy groups over five years. You see these nice sounding names in these organizations and you don't realize that many of them are being funded by the very people that manufacture opioids. Businesses don't money to advocacy groups without getting a return on investment. Dr. Adrian Fu Berman studies drug marketing practices and has been hired to testify in state lawsuits against opioid manufacturers. These groups have minimized addiction risk. They've actually lobbied to fight laws that um, seek to prevent overprescription. Some, according to the report, even found fault with CDC guidelines seeking to curb opioid dosing. Another, the National Pain Foundation, defended a convicted doctor charged with overprescribing up to 1,600 pills a day. Beware of any organization if you don't know who's paying the bills. Purdue and Insys told us the money was to support organizations aiming to help pain patients receive appropriate care. The National Pain Foundation didn't respond to requests for comment, but told Senate investigators it no longer accepts contributions from pharmaceutical companies. Other groups criticized the report, calling it unfair to equate financial support with industry influence. They say we're pro-patient, we're not pro-industry. I would urge them to put all of the donations they receive on their website and let the public decide. To decide whether the money is buying the message. Katie Beck, NBC News, Washington.